Hey guys, Hector here with another term for the Otaku Encyclopedia. And as I promised, this week I'll be talking about the word ecchi. Now I had to do a little bit more research than usual for this word because it's used kind of differently around the world. And in the, sometimes even in the same country, there's not a, a set definition. Like people don't really know what it's for. So I had to, you know, look online and then ask some Japanese friends, like, what does this mean exactly? And when I was checking out on Wikipedia, they had a freaking like a hundred year history of the word. And I'm not going to go into this huge history because th these videos are usually supposed to be kind of quick so you guys can learn something and then just go watch something else, I guess. So, but I will say that the word, I found out that the word ecchi actually comes from hentai, which I talked about last week. So, of course, hentai has its own spelling in Japanese with hiragana and kanji. But if you take the romaji version, H-E-N-T-A-I, and if you pronounce the H in Japanese, then it's kind of like ecchi. They, I'm sure they could have went with ecchi, but they went with ecchi. And there's no just ch, there's no ch sound in Japanese, so they have to do the chi. But sometimes if they're talking really fast, they might not pronounce the e part. So it could just be like ech instead of ecchi. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much where the word comes from. It comes from the letter H in hentai. So... In Western countries, people usually use the term ecchi to refer to like a lightly erotic scenarios, or it's kind of like fan service almost. It like leaves stuff up to your imagination, like when it shows somebody's underpants in an anime mo manga or video game, or if they use certain verbal innuendos, or or you know like how there's always the main character falling on a female character and grabbing up on her boob panties or something like that. I guess you can kind of say that's ecchi. It's pretty much lightly sexualized stuff that kind of leaves it to the imagination. You know, it's not like hentai where it shows actual nudity and sex and all that good stuff. Like you might, another example is you might see two silhouettes in a window and then they kind of, you know, wrestle around together and fall over or something. It doesn't actually show you that they're having sex and it doesn't say that they're having sex, but it's kind of implied and it leaves it to the imagination. But of course, like hentai, this word has a completely different usage in Japan. So, ecchi in Japan can be used as an adjective, like when somebody's being kind of naughty, naughty or feels horny, you might say, or you might use the term ecchi for that. Or it can be used as a verb, like when you say ecchi suru, it means like you're having sex or you want to have sex. So, of course, in Japan, compared to other Western countries, ecchi is used very differently. So, that's pretty much all you need to know about the term ecchi. So if you like this video, or if you learned something, or if you just appreciated me doing it, you can give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this where I teach you more Japanese subculture terms, or just other Japanese related videos, if you want to see all that good stuff, subscribe to my channel because more will be coming in the future.